Hey guys, what is going on? It is Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming. And if you guys have been following me from before, I accidentally deleted my old world, which is a big mistake in my part. Um, I accidentally thought it was a world that I was playing with my friend doing cooperative and I accidentally deleted it. So now I'm naming the whole new world. Well, I'm naming the new world a whole new world. And we're gonna start here in a star system like it was before. Now this time, I actually didn't enjoy my old world as much because I was still kind of learning how to play. And I think I'm going to be a lot better at it. I, I promise I'm going to be a lot better at it. So in this case, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the same, Earth like drop, because we really didn't get into space and we really didn't get too far, but I'm going to speed this process along. The first thing I want to do as soon as I drop is teach you guys how to convert your dropship into a miner. So that's something to look forward to and it's something that I'm gonna like oh this is not a great location oh okay still not really a great location because we are between an alley and there is no ice I mean there's some ice up there we're really gonna have to scout this out okay so this is the survival pod or the re respawn pod that you start off with and the new update added this little change let me get out of third person view I look a look like a little leopard and they added this guy which is the survival pod and the survival pod allows you to basically um start and and build materials like back then you needed this huge refinery and everything but now you could just drop stuff in the survival pod and it'll turn it into iron ingots and stuff so for stone and all that stuff it would just automatically change it and it's also your respawn area so if you die you will respawn right by the survival pod also you have this little computer that will recharge all your stats. So if you're running low on energy or oxygen, you can just hit F on this little guy and it will recharge all your stuff. Now, because I'm on an Earth-like planet, I'm going to press J and just remove my helmet because I could breathe and I could save on a little bit of energy. I am lucky this time that our survival pod actually made it in one piece. But we're going to start dismantling it as soon as possible just so we could get some sort of uh, miner going and knock the tedious bits out. But... First off, we do need to mine, and I'm glad that we have this little um, ridge here so I can just mine straight instead of having to mine down. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit too far to go back and forth. Now, I did increase the um, cargo size on my personnel. This way, it wouldn't be so tedious just watching me drill this hole. So what I'm doing right now is right-click drilling just so I could kind of initiate this hole and I could grab all the materials I need. And then now I'm gonna do a left click mine and just let it like pull up over here. Now, for the beginning of this, you if you got a 10 times inventory size like me, which is a 4,000, no, I actually didn't change. I was gonna say, uh oh, that's not good. Um, you're really only gonna have to run this about like four or five times before you could get everything up and running. And this is the, you could say the tedious bits in the beginning of the game. Yeah, my inventory size didn't change. And why is my mouse sensitivity so high? So what I'm going to do now is kind of drop this in here. And go over to production and switch and kind of just queue this up. So this turns those stones into gravel, iron, nickel, and silicon. And that's everything you need to kind of build a basic base. And it makes it so much easier that we have this system in place now. All right, so... I will be right back in two seconds because I got to switch over the inventory. You're going to be watching me walk back and forth for like 10 hours. All right, we are back and I just increased the inventory size. That way it's just much quicker. I know it's a little cheat, but again, on YouTube, it's just you guys would just run away if it took more than five minutes or something like that. So what I'm doing right now is, like I said, mining, going to make a couple of runs. And keep in mind, the deeper you go the bigger the rocks get. So right now the little pebbles that I'm picking up will take a while just to build up my inventory size. But the deeper I go in, the bigger the rocks get, the faster I can just run back and forth. And we're just gonna nail this and bang this out real quick and hopefully get a little base just enough for me to start building my miner using my survival pod. And there's a very particular way to do it because there's materials on the ship that you kinda need to remove just to get enough to get a miner going. It was very fun when trying to figure out what to do. 
and all the credit does not go to me i was actually watching this other youtuber who did something similar and i was like oh yeah that does work like that and automatically i decided to give it a try and see what i need to do to make it work so just give me a couple more seconds and we should have enough to kind of get a basic base up and running. So what I mean by a basic base, we need at least minimal power and an assembler and possibly a refiner just to help refine stuff. But it's not absolutely needed because we have the survival kit. So if you want to save on the materials a little, you could and not build a refiner yet. Because that refiner takes about like 120 or 100 uh, or so iron ingots. And that's not easy to get. Not at this early stage. Now keep in mind, you're really doing this for a little bit in the beginning of the game. Once you get a basic base going and a miner, it's not going to be as tedious. It's actually a lot more fun once you get the miner going and flying around just to pull resources. So here we are. I'm going to do one more run and I think we should be good to get the base up and running. I don't have a course here, so it's very hard for me to see what I'm selecting. And I do that on purpose because it it's easier to like, look, if I tab out, uh, screenshots are a little bit easier to take without the course here there and cross hair. Oh my god, why do I keep saying course hair? And um, it's just a little bit easier. So I haven't been uploading for a while and that's because I've been actually busy trying to learn how to snowboard. So for those of you guys who's new at snowboarding or learning how to snowboard, oh, kudos. You fall a lot. I mean, I'm going to keep going back and trying to learn, but I'm telling you, oops. Snowboarding is very, very hard, especially if you don't understand how to do any of it. It kind of beats you up just going down that whole thing. Come on, go down a little. Yeah, yeah, I should have some. Let me do this one pass and we'll just set up base right here before it gets dark because you won't be able to see anything. See, look, I can't even select that because I don't know where the crosshair, crosshair is. All right, we are almost there. I think I did about a good four runs, five runs maybe. And I should almost have enough for what I need. Drop this here. Now, if you notice, your toolbar already has everything pre-built in there, so you don't have to really organize your toolbar at first. I, I kind of like where the three tools are and the block, like this block on number four. I've gotten very used to it, so I'm going to use that method. Now, because I don't have any iron yet, I do need... Why didn't I just do it? I'm going to have this selected from the basic components and drop down about 100 steel. I'm going to need uh, quite a few motors, um, girders as well, interior plates, and construction components. I'm holding control and clicking to add by 10 and some displays and hopefully I have enough to just keep making this stuff. Now I'm going to grab a few of these and start working on the layout of the base. Now this is probably the flattest area which is here and you kind of want to start on a flatter area because if it's curved and everything it's going to be really hard for you to land uh, once you place down your first block that will be the start of your base and then everything can connect onto it so i'm going to do this 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 kind of like six blocks there you go now power you want kind of eight up eight blocks up so this is one two three four five six seven oh, just about out of materials so that's fine i'm gonna go grab some interior plates as well because i need the interior plates and this guy a couple of motors and i think one computer i'm not even sure if i really need what one computer but i'm gonna grab this uh should have put down a grab some steel put this in there and hopefully I can fit this all in about like a 25 minute episode I don't want to keep it that long but 
at least get the basic build and the minor working in about 20 25 minutes or so so now we're just waiting for this to go while we are literally waiting for this to happen um, I'm gonna put my interior plates back down in here and mine a little bit more because we're waiting anyway we're just wasting time I'm not gonna sit around and just uh, wait, where's my lights let it do its thing so I might as well mine another two rounds because we could always use this material and once we get the miner going I don't have to do this anymore okay we're working on it so yeah uh, I've been going to this mountain called Blue Mountain and uh, it's pretty basic and easy and I've been learning you know I'm able to heal stop but trying to I'm training a little bit on a toe the toe stopping and it's a little bit hard because I could do it I'm just not proficient at it and so hopefully next year I'm gonna work on that a little bit more and possibly transition into you know kind of like turning because I could leaf I could leaf on heel side I could leaf a little on the toe and it doesn't feel fluent when I do it on the toe and I kind of want to get it so I'm more fluent on the toe I hope you guys know what I'm talking about especially if you're like on it's new to snowboarding you're probably not but um, if you are new if you do snowboard you probably know what I'm talking about and and I kind of I get kicked up on the turns and everything it's so hard well as for me for me it is go to production and it's working on ingots right now okay got a little bit of motors I do need construction components so let's kind of put that in front right now and I got this got this got some motors I don't remember how much construction components but I think it's not that many oh it is 20 and two computers so I still need construction components. I'm almost there. And production. Let's move the... Where's the computers? Computers. I think I should have enough up in front. Two computers. And here we have it. I think we should be good with that guy. Now you could just get up to functional. You don't need to get it up all the way. If you want to, you can. But you don't need to. But you see how fast that's spinning? That's because I got it about like eight blocks high. And they got to be like eight blocks from each other just to get the maximum efficiency without having to block the wind. So eight blocks is your rule of thumb. Now, as far as assembler, I am going to need to slap one down. And I do have a reason for this. So I'm going to point this this way. I need a steel plate. Of course I need a steel plate. I wish my ship was closer. So let's grab some steel plates. Production working on all this stuff um, I could have it work on that now just in case I need to do a ramp because every time I need to walk up it's so annoying so let's let's build that ramp in a second all right we got it going this way Four. Uh, let's do a double ramp I know I'm gonna use a little bit more material but it's worth it boom boom yeah, I'll worry about that later. You know what I could have done? Half slabs instead of full slabs. Okay, 60 steel plates, which I'm working on. Construction components, motors, displays, and 80 computers. Oh man, I forgot this thing needs so much computers. Production. Uh, at least 80 computers, so I need to go back here and slap on another that many uh, motors steel plates I do have enough construction components I need and I think that's about it I kind of yeah let's double check on that 10 motors construction components which I'm working on displays displays that's it I don't think I needed to do that. I could have just like pulled it up from my inventory. Displays. Nine displays being worked on. Ten motors. Motors I need a lot of. I'll put that at the end. But I'm going to build more motors because we need them for basically engines. So 
I'm gonna go back and mine some more just for a little bit. You see, I'm just not wasting time. Once I know it's working on something, I know it's gonna take a while, I'll just let it, like, do its thing and now mine. So it's not as tedious as you think, because I'd rather not stand around and do nothing. I can tell you these boulders are definitely getting bigger. And I'm filling up my inventory a little bit faster. Let me know how the sound effect sounds. Uh, I kind of played around with the sound settings because when I was recording before, it was a little bit too loud all the time. So... What's going on here? Oh. That was funky. Almost there. Almost there. I might not be able to squeeze the miner into this episode. I might have to push it to the next episode. It's taking me a little bit longer than I thought to actually build this guy. I don't know. I'm going to record it and see how it goes. I don't need these girders. I could do the displays, motors, steel plates. I could grab everything for now. Yeah, let's see. Construction components and computers. Okay. That's not too bad. Construction components. And motors. No, computers. Okay. Um, I do need to recharge. And here's a little trick for you. Let's recharge this real quick. And then, if you go into the O2 tank and hit F, there's an actual hydrogen bottle here already, so you could just use it. And that's it. Let's drop this stone back down there. Uh, grab some construction components. Production. Let's uh, throw the computers over front. Just trying to be proficient. And we just need 30 computers. And I'm pretty sure I have that in construction right now. 30 computers, let's see. Yeah, definitely. No, not not motors. 30 computers. So I got 12. Okay. All in the meanwhile, let's start taking this guy apart. So we could keep this on here. We don't need it on here, but we could keep it on there for now. Uh, let me see what I want to do. No, I am going to take it apart in a sec. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we need to take, let's see. Let me show you guys a little trick because you need to unlock stuff. So to unlock stuff, you just take a part like a landing gear, roll it back up and you basically unlock the landing gear block. Other stuff here, I don't need. So I'm gonna start grinding that down and using that. Oh, I forgot my grinding speed is a little bit fast. Kinda get that going. We don't need the seat, so we are gonna grind it down. We don't need the seat. Okay. Oh, I had a gun in there, I forgot. Come on. Did I pick it up? Yeah, I think I got it. Alright. So in here, we're going to need to grind down a couple of things. First, we need to grind down the conveyor. Okay, and then weld that back up. Whoops. We need to grind this down first. Now I could grind that. So you got to take apart this little, uh, uh, what do you call this? What is this guy called? small cargo container then it will unlock the conveyor system so we need those so i had to build this one first and build that then i have to take out the beacon over here which i think i could reach whoops oh that's not good there you go i definitely need that crosshair let's let's fix that problem option game all right sorry about that guys i actually had to pick up a call so we kind of time skipped a little bit forward and we haven't got anything done but um should still be okay. I think I was on the phone for like about 10 minutes or so and I just left the recording going. So I kind of got a timestamp of what we need. But what the good news out of that is all my stuff is done. So I finished building the assembler and we are almost ready to get this guy going. So let's at least try to build this guy to the point where we could fly it. Now, one thing we need to do is I'm really upset that I got rid of that connector because I really needed that. Let's see what I'm going to do. 
No, I don't need that connector. That's not an important connector. I'm good. I'm good. You know what? I'm going to go to G menu and look for a connector. A conveyor. Sorry. And start piping this in. Now, here's the, here's the little tricky part. Um, batteries here. This is here. The survival kit is here. And... And the thruster is there. So what I really need to do now... Do I have to remove the survival kit? I think I do. I do have to remove the survival kit. So let's let's grind that down. Because we have the base and we just got to make sure that... We kind of don't die between this time that we are doing this. So first... I need to offload all this stuff into my inventory and luckily I have that much room everything in here is fine and we're gonna grind this thing down this is the survival kit right let's drop this okay and we're gonna go over here and survival kit and drop it on our base right away this way we are settled with that. I'm going to flip this so the computer screen's this way. And everything is one to one. So if you grind down something, you will have the exact materials in your inventory other than the power cells. Power cells do destroy if you destroy them. All right, now that I got that, I could get rid of all this other stuff in the middle. Now, here is what we need the most. Um, this thruster has four metal grids. The four metal grids is required to make four thrusters on top so you could rotate and turn and all that other stuff all those all that goodie so we definitely need that and I could grind all this down because I don't need it I don't need the parachute I don't need this beacon oh, I'm getting full of my inventory I don't need the timer block small car container I don't need and this this guy I don't need okay now that we grinded all that down I am gonna drop down a cockpit and I'm just going to use a standard cockpit. It'll be cheaper if you actually used a passenger seat and a remote control. But I kind of like the, the cockpit look. So I'm going to keep that. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And let's throw in the cockpit. Boom, boom. Here we go. We could extend it out a little if you want. Nah, let's just do this. I should have... Oh, I need computers. Okay, let me go grab some computers. And right... Where did I put the computers? Oh, I'm out. Because I didn't decide to make any. So let's drop all my inventory in there. Because I have all the ingots. And stuff. I'll keep some steel plates on me. And interior plates. And what did I need? Computers. Production... And let's go to basic assembler and we'll queue up 10 computers. Look how fast that is. So we got computers and I'm going to drop the stone back in here. Production. And we're going to queue up 100 of these and get through those stones real quick. Alright, we are back. So let's finish this guy. Oh, we got to pick up the computers. All this talk. Production. Wow, I needed more computers. Four computers here, production. And let's queue up one more because I think I need five. I should queue up a bunch, but there you go. Back here, I'm going to actually put the, um, what do you call that guy? Oh, let's get rid of this landing gear because it's not really attached to anything. Is that the one that's locked on? No. Oof. Gotta double check that first. So here I'm gonna actually put on ooh, the small cargo, medium cargo container. But I also need to plumb it up. And I also need a connector. So what I'm gonna do is take this apart right now. Gotta be very careful with this. Because it's already weak and we don't have any support. And I'm pulling it back all the way this way just so I could reach here and start installing stuff. So we're going to need a gyroscope and some plumbing. I'm going to slap a gyroscope down here. 
and start on the plumbing here okay and then you'll, you'll see what I mean and the plumbing I need a motor and construction components and I got a motor construction components interior plates and as far as the gyroscope I need five computers no not this one this is the big one so I got hit seven again so I need computers motors large steel tubes so large steel tube computers and I got some motors in there already and what else what else did I need large steel tube construction components steel plates steel plates uh, we need to queue those up because we're out so let's queue 30 of these guys up and pull these ingots out um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to mine a little bit more now so now we have some go back to production and it's queuing that up grab that grab some computers grab some steel plates grab some construction components and some motors interior plates and we should be okay with this now the reason why I'm building it right now before placing it down it's because you can't reach into it if you need to later six now I'm gonna put a turn in here and then another turn right here and then I think I need one more block let me double check this yeah I need one more so let's let's do that and let's drop one more block and then now we have our spot for medium cargo container now this hole has to match up with that hole and that's exactly why I did it like this with the big opening staying on the bottom I just need one display oh no I don't need the display and the display I guess gives me access to pressing this button over here maybe so now we have our small cargo container our cockpit gyroscope and that's basically it we have everything we need to go up but not well technically you could fly like this now like a helicopter but it's very 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 hard so we're gonna need to do four motors I mean four um, engines thrusters so let's grab our little thrusters here and if I have some steel plates I'm gonna start lining them up now um, we could keep the antenna so let's keep that uh, I'm gonna get rid of this block get rid of this block and get rid of get rid of this block okay same goes for here structural integrity is not a thing on this it's it, like if you crash this it will fall apart there you go I'm just removing these pieces because that's where the motor is gonna go okay eventually we're gonna have to remove that ice maker and move it onto the base um, and, and replace for a second battery so we can put more thrusters on here but that's only an upgraded option for the future drop this here drop that there there and there now we have the four motors we need motors and metal grids so we're gonna get that because that thruster we took apart earlier has four metal grids and a bunch of motors that we need so we're gonna start queuing up some motors I swear I, I had more motors than this but maybe I used it for other stuff alright so let's queue up some motors and we are gonna have to mine but let me finish this one first. there we go let's go kinda fill my energy up a little bit and let's go mining since the hole was very close I think it was right here oh my god I lost the hole 
Oh, right there. Ow. We're gonna queue this up because we're gonna need some more mats just to create those motors. And then we basically will have a basic flyer that will help us knock out this tedious task that we've been doing for this time. Okay, so I... Correction, I think I need about like seven or eight runs of mining. And then we should have enough mats to do what we need. Oops. Let's go here. Drop that in here. Got that all queued up. While I'm waiting for that to happen, I could still kind of place down these mats so I'm not carrying them. I just need motors for this. Motors and construction components. And same thing. And I need a large steel tube. So, production, I'm going to do large steel tube. Construction components. And we have displays, metal I don't think I need yet, but I'm going to queue that up for later. And now, I can grab the stuff from here because I know I did it already. Manually move it over here for now. Technically I could have put the survival kit right in front, but I don't, I didn't want to do that because I was going to place a cargo there. And the reason why I'm placing a cargo here is because I want the up mount so I could put a connector so I could land the ship with the connector later on in the future. So I'm planning for the future and we're basically queuing up all this stuff and hopefully I have enough to kind of... I'm not going to be able to bang out the motors. I'm going to need 500, 900, something like this. So probably one more run. That opening a little bit bigger. Wait, I went from one end to the other, huh? I basically did a U turn, huh? Yes, I did. Wow. Didn't expect that. Alright. Hopefully, this will be maybe the last run. I keep saying that, but I know it's not. Catch all this stuff. That's why I wasn't getting these big rocks. It's because I kept going up and made this nasty turn. Maybe I should go straight. Okay. We're good. Let's drop this off in here. Let that finish off. The basic assembler has a bunch of stuff done. So I have this, which is great. Construction components, which is great. Uh, I'm going to let that finish and kind of get this going. I know I'm going to get this guy flying. This episode might be a little bit longer than expected, but we're going to get this guy. Construction components and large steel tubes. And this probably has nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go grab the stuff that we got from here. Drop it off in here. Let's do this large steel tube and some construction components. Finish off with the motors last. Do one more quick run. Let's see if we're going straight this time. So imagine me digging a straight hole, it's terrible, like I can't do it. This is probably going, yep, see it's going straight, but it's going down. Getting some big good size ore over here though. There we go. Have a little bit, but not enough. Can't wait to get this digger up and working. Okay, I do, while we're here, 
let's slap this on. Where's the cockpit? So we have this hole right here. We're going to grab a drill and kind of drop the drill in there as well while we're here. And this will, the drill holds a good amount of inventory and then it'll pass it through the cockpit if needs to. Then it'll pass it to a storage and then the storage has a connector. So this is all plumbed up in a way where it will work very well. This guy needs construction components, large steel tube, and motor. So let's queue up some more large steel tubes. Because I think I just used the one that was in my inventory. Um, well, I'm queuing up some motors and construction components. That's a big thing right now. Let's grab the stuff from here. Pass it over here. Let it finish its thing. And grab some motors, grab large steel tube, construction components, and finish off the other motors. Just get it functional. I don't want to use too many parts. I'm cheap right now. Or poor. I'm missing one large steel tube, but I got the motors. Nice. That's not a problem. I'm making large steel tubes right now. Let's drop that in front. Am I really out already? Oh man, I'm that tight on resources. Um, you could always disassemble, but no, let's not do that. Let's just do one more quick run. If that was a full run, I think I would have got a lot more material. I didn't do a full run. It was like a half run a second ago. But yeah, uh, once we get this miner up and running, then we could get enough resources and start expanding our base by building refineries and... Possibly what I would like to do uh, is get this miner up and going and move to a new spot. Something like an ice lake because we eventually want to get into space and we need hydrogen power because there's no more uranium on the planet. So an ice lake would help severely if I needed to mine for ice right in front of the base. Inventory. Inventory. And ice lakes are always flat, which helps with flying, driving, anything that has to deal with motor vehicles because flat surface is easier to handle. All right, let's kind of get this going. One more run, one more run, just in case. We have enough motors, so I'm making a little bit obscene amount of motors than we need to right now. Come on. There we go. Almost full. Last run of the night. Hopefully. Oh, the sun's out already. Look at that. Or oh, coming out. Let's drop this in here. Grab some of these. Uh, the next item that we really need is um, cobalt. So if we're going to look for anything, we definitely need to look for... What did, why is it not working? Not enough power. Oh, so when this is working, this doesn't have enough power to do that. Okay. This should be almost done anyway. Yeah, now it's done. Come on. Grab the rest of this. Move it over here. And now we should have enough to start. Okay, we don't need this much motors. But we do need construction components. So let's grab some of that. Oops, that's too much. I gotta be uh, very precise on how much I need. Okay. Did I grab large steel tubes and everything? No, I didn't grab a thing. Let's grab the large steel tubes, construction component, steel, motor, and I think that's what I need for the rest of this stuff. Boom. Done. 
Now it's ready to fly. Boom. Done. All right. Let's try this out. Oops. Wrong way. Let's get rid of this. And... There we have it. We are in a cockpit of our ship. So what I like to do is group up some stuff. So because I got two landing gears, which I don't really need, but it's fine. What I'm going to do is first grab the landing gear. And I guess the other landing gear, what happened to the other landing gear? It's broken. Oh, it's not connected. Which is, which guy is it? This guy is not connected. Okay, let's get rid of it. We don't need it. Yeah, it probably wasn't connected. So, let's go back to K menu. Grab the landing gear. We know it's going to be locked, so I got to disable auto lock. Okay? Then, for backwards thrusters, I will keep that in mind. Or detector, we want to increase the range to 80. This we will eventually get rid of. But since we have a ship with like full battery and we don't want to get it to waste, that's why we're building the miner on here. Now, I'm going to go to block tools. Go to block tools and drop this here. You also have the left and right click. So left click with mine, right click would make a bigger hole. All blocks, I will actually put the landing gear up on nine and do switch lock. And then the forward thrusters, which I didn't even name, which that's what I wanted to do thruster 8 so I'm just gonna do back and look for that one which is here I'm gonna be able to turn on this and yes and no the reason why I want to keep this on here is because when you're flying forward this thruster will kick on to stop you um, so it's a uh, backwards move moving backwards thruster so if you turn that off you'll basically be floating forever so it's really late, but I kind of want to give this a try before we sign off for tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to be working on our base, or at least moving it. I was debating if I want to move it first, but let's give this a try. We've got nine to unlock. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. For all the thrusters, you have to unhide. The upwards thruster, on. And all the other thrusters should kick on. There you go fix my gyroscope a little bit and because I didn't put any lamps on here look how slow it goes but at least I know it floats and I can mine and I have my ore detector so I can float around to see what they got so in the meantime I'm gonna play around with the hole that I got already and you gotta really mind your tilt so right now I'm tilted forward you can see because I'm underneath that straight line right above my cursor and two, you really got to worry about the weight because this guy, with only four thrusters, you're going to be only able to hold about 40,000 pounds, and that's pushing it. But 40,000 pounds is a lot of ore, at least to begin with. And now I got my hole a little bit bigger. I'll go back out to the outside view. And because I don't have a connector on, but I do need mats. So I'm just going to fly back here for a second, get my ship a little bit closer to base. And I'm going to start unloading all the stuff manually, hand by hand, and hopefully get all my stuff unloaded and start on my next phase. Nine. There you go. That made it worse because... So that's 20,000 ore. Look at that. Now I just have to move it over. For now. Up until I build a connector. Which will be in the next episode. So thanks for tuning in guys. If you guys enjoyed this build. I know it was all over the place a little bit. But um, this will at least get our mining ship up and ready to go mining. At least for the first start of the base. Look, the only thing I have was the assembler and the survival kit. So hope you guys enjoyed this. The next video will be more enticing and we are going to be building out our base or looking for a new base or mining around and we'll see what happens next thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time